Dvoom is a manufacturer of Bluetooth speakers with inbuilt LED panels, which are able to show animations, and most of Dvoom speakers produce quite good sound and work flawlessly when connected to a mobile device such as a smartphone. However, some people seem to have trouble using the Dvoom speakers with their computers. The problem is, when you search for Bluetooth devices, Dvoom speakers actually broadcast two different Bluetooth devices. The first one is the screen, which normally goes by the name of light, and the speaker goes by the name of audio. So when you are trying to pair your Dvoom device in Windows, make sure you are actually selecting the audio device and not the light one. As any other Bluetooth device, Dvoom speakers support at least two modes. The first one is hands-free, which enables the microphone, however the sound quality will be terrible. And the second one is A2DP stereo. That's the one you want to use to get the best possible sound quality. The problem with Windows is that it sometimes cannot switch between hands-free and stereo modes automatically. So you're better off just disabling the hands-free mode altogether in the recording section, as well as the playback section, to make sure the speaker always stays in stereo mode to ensure the best possible quality. In some cases, the good device speakers may be detected as headphones and the bad hands-free device as a headset. What you have to keep in mind is that you need to disable all communication devices and keep the stereo device. That will ensure best possible audio quality. In Linux, the pairing process is almost the same. You have to pair the audio device and not the light device. And if it connects in hands-free mode, you may need to go to the settings and switch the audio profile to high fidelity playback A2DP sync. And also, you may want to change the codec from the standard SBC codec to a better quality SBC XQ codec, try using different bit rates and use the highest that the speaker is still able to receive without skipping sound. Normally these settings are persistent, so you will only need to make them once, and Linux will keep them from now on. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.